Going in depth now this morning on the guilty verdict for Mark Goudeau, officially dubbing him the Valley's baseline killer. The next step, determining whether Goudeau will face the death penalty after being convicted of nine murders. And joining me on the phone this morning is former Phoenix Police Sergeant Andy Hill. Andy, thank you for being with us this morning. You're welcome, Connie. Well, take us deep inside all of this. Were there any surprises for you as these verdicts came down? You know, not at all, really. I think what we were all hoping and waiting for was the justice system to, to work. And, um, you know, kudos to the county attorneys uh, that worked on the case, uh, Suzanne Cohen and Patty Stevens, and, you know, the case agent, Alex Semenya, who's been working on this case for six years. I mean, they had thousands of things to do to prepare for this case, and uh, they all did a great job. And you also have to give credit to all the officers of the Phoenix Police Department that worked on it, uh, the DPS Crime Lab, ATF. So there, it was a major effort for many, many years. None of those people ever forgot about the victims and their families in this case. Nine murders as Mark Goudot terrorized the Valley from 2005 on. Tell us a little bit about some of those things that really cracked the case for the police. Well, number one, you know, it was like looking for a needle in a haystack. When you, if you sat through the trial, you saw, you know, there were so many things that had to be done to try and find him. And what it was was just diligent police effort and a lot of experience on the part of certain people to keep pushing forward. Uh, the community was very supportive. They wanted the, uh, the Phoenix Police Department to find the suspects. And remember that there was a second serial killer case going on at the same time. You know, that I think the agencies in the Valley really showed how, how good they are in terms of getting together. Even if there are disagreements or trying to work through things internally, everybody's goal was to find who the suspects were in those cases. And uh, in this case, the justice system has served well, and that's what we were all waiting for all these years, to be able to put that through the system and let a jury decide. All right, Andy, real quick, Godot, I know facing the death penalty, if he even is uh, with one of these murder, tr murder cases now, uh, do you expect that that will happen, that he will be facing the death penalty here? Yeah, that's what the upcoming hearing is going to be, to just go over aggravating and mitigating circumstances, determine what sentence he'll get, whether it be life or, or the death sentence. Uh, and again, the jury will determine that, and we will... Uh, wait and see and a lot of it's based upon prior incidents or that may have occurred and be presented in court all right thank you so much former phoenix police sergeant andy hill for joining us this morning by phone we appreciate it